So you have all heard of oat milk. Well today, the little miss and I are going to bring three different flavors to life. All right, everybody. So today, the little miss is here to help me with this fad food. Hey guys. So we're gonna be making some oat milk. We're gonna make some vanilla, chocolate, strawberry oat milk, all starting off of the basic version of oat milk. I'm Jeremiah, your friend with food benefits, and this is Fad Foods. So let's go ahead and get started with some oat milk. All right, everybody, so I got everything that we need to start making this oat milk. So as you can see here over to the left, I have some uh, pink salt, some rolled oats, some maple syrup, and some water. So when it comes to making the oat milk, it's gonna be a real simple process. We're gonna add a cup of oats, four cups of water, two tablespoons of maple syrup to add a little bit of sweetness, and a quarter teaspoon of the salt. We're then going to add it to the food processor, and we're gonna process that for about a minute. We don't wanna over process it because it's easy for the oats to almost get this slimy texture, but we wanna avoid that. Obviously, you don't wanna be drinking any slimy oat milk. That'd just be gross. So we're gonna process that up and then we're gonna run it through a cheesecloth. That's gonna make sure that we are getting smooth and creamy oat milk. Then we're gonna move on to all the flavors. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we are good to go. So, all right, Miss, you can go ahead and add the water to the food processor. And we're gonna do one cup of oats. All right, miss. Oats, yeah. Oats, do the milk. Uh, do you wanna do uh, the quarter teaspoon of salt? Yeah, only one. Yep. Here's the tablespoon. I will pour it into the tablespoon for you. Here's number one. Okay, and now, And now we're going to get this processing over at the food processor. Okay, so we have that blended. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cheesecloth. We're gonna put the cheesecloth in the measuring cup. That sounds kind of yummy. And the cheesecloth. Yeah, it's cheese shaped as a cloth. <laughs> and then we're just gonna pour this right in. And now we're just picking this up out so that we get all the liquid to strain out into the measuring cup and keep all of the leftover chunkier pieces of oats in the bag. Ooh, smart. Smart dumpy. And so now we can get our hands on here. We can apply a little pressure, you know, similar to if you're making like a, a cheese or something like that to get all that liquid out. Only this time we're going in the exact opposite. We're trying to keep all the liquid and keep the oats to the side. All right, so you can see the final product of the oat milk. We're gonna try some of this out. Okay, miss. This is Cheers. Plain? Yep, this is the plain. Sweet milk? Yeah, I like it. You know, you, you get some of that oat, you know, in there from obviously the oatmeal. Um, but it's good, I like it. This is good. Obviously I would I would like it to cool down a little bit more, so definitely recommend chilling this. 
but this is yeah, great. I will like it cold, especially because it's summer right now. And I like, you can actually see from pouring it, it has a little bit of the frothiness on top. You can only see it a little bit there. But the thing to call out with this that's great is that it would be a great alternative to use uh, for your coffee or your tea to be able to get that frothiness. So this is good. This is so good. All right, so now we're going to move on to making another quick batch of the uh, milk. But this time we're going to add in some other flavors. So we'll see you back here in just a few minutes. All right, to make the vanilla oat milk, we're starting off with the same core of a recipe, but now we're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And yes? I'm also going to use vanilla powder. Okay. And then vanilla powder. It smells like soda, you guys. All right, and then now we're gonna go with two tablespoons of natural vanilla powder. It smells like soda. Okay, and so from here, we're gonna follow the exact same thing that we just did. We're gonna blend it, and then we're gonna use a cheesecloth to strain it, and then we'll try it out and let you know what we think. Yeah, God, you have to smell this. First it smells like soda and now it smells like cupcakes. All right, so let's give this a try. The vanilla oat milk. Cheers. It's good, you know, it, again, it's oat milk and then it has the, the vanilla in there, so that's good. This is my favorite milk so far. So and yum. this would be great to use in like making a latte. Mm -hmm. All right, so then this is gonna finish this up. I'm gonna get prepared to move on to the chocolate oat milk. All right, so we're gonna start off with adding the vanilla extract for the chocolate oat milk. So good. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of cacao powder. It just still smells like soda. You gotta scoop it out. Oh. That's yep. Okay, add another. Good. Alright, and then this part of the journey, you already know, we're going to blend it up, put it over the cheesecloth, see you back in just a moment. You lift it up a little more. I'm excited for this one, because it's chocolate milk. Alright, what do you think? Oh. Cheers. Cheers. It's a little sweetener. It takes a more sweetener. A little bit more sweetener, but it has the cocoa flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Maybe like another tablespoon of maple syrup. Or honey. Yeah. Sweeter syrup or honey. It depends. All right, so we're going to finish this up and we're going to move on to the last one, which is the strawberry oat milk. For the strawberry oat milk, we're going to again go with the vanilla extract. And then we're going to add six strawberries that the miss already removed uh, the stem from. See? Literally, it smells like and looks like soda, but probably does not taste like soda. I hope not. I wish. All right, and we'll see you back here in just a minute once I get this blender out. So let's try the last one, the strawberry oat milk. That's sour. But it's fresh strawberry, so. Yeah, I like it. It's good. I think my favorite of all it would be the vanilla. So 
we made the regular, the vanilla, the chocolate, and the strawberry. So you see four different cups of oat milk. And uh, you know, overall I like them. I will give a call out that uh, it does separate a little bit if you let it sit. So you wanna make sure that you shake it up before you uh, pour and use it. But I think they were all great. My favorite was the regular oat milk. And I did like the vanilla um, oat milk second most. And then really the strawberry and the, and the chocolate really kind of go you know the same with me. You really get a good co uh, cocoa flavor and a really good strawberry flavor. Um, but I think that you gotta tweak it a little bit more in order to make it just as good. What do you think? I think yeah. this was my fourth favorite. My first favorite. And drum roll please for the first one. Well, awesome. So, uh, what was that? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, is oat milk a fad? I think that, you know, it's really not a fad because I don't think that it's just here for a short time. I, I would say that it's here to stay. Uh, you know, I think it's a great alternative to, you know, having a cup of milk. I think that the flavor is great. There's a lot you can do with it. And the oat milk itself, I think it almost accents the different flavors you add to it. And so that makes it great to use in your coffee, make lattes, you know, maybe even put it back in uh, some, some oatmeal or, you know, use it in some cookies or, or smoothies, things like that. I think, I think you can do all sorts of different things. I think it's great. So uh, thanks to the Little Miss for joining me in this Fad Foods and make sure that you head on over to her channel. What do you got to say? ALB TV and make sure to check our Instagrams. All right, everybody. So there you are the fad foods make sure you comment below about some other things that you want to see us try and let us know which one that you're most excited about trying give a thumbs up subscribe everybody i'm jeremiah from the food benefits and we'll see you back here again real soon with another fad foods